hi everyone and welcome back so let's uh, do some exercise in this video uh, and we are already talking about writing clean code so in this example this is the items as an array and what we are going to do is we have to calculate the total cost which i need to pay uh, if i buy them okay and there is a bot as a flag which is true or false i will be buying only these items where bot is true so i will be writing a functions and here we need to see how we can actually split all these different logics into different functions so what i want is get uh, function name now here let's start with what can be the function name for this so i can say get total cost so define it is taking items as an argument right now what we need to do is uh, you can say first of all i want to add the ids also just addition to that const items you can say with ids so i am writing one function which is generate ids and i'm passing items to it so generate ids should be a function which should return with item after adding an ids to each and every item i mean you can write the whole code into a single function also but here we are talking about implementing a logic where we can isolate these different functions into a separate space so here i can do item dot map because i need to alter and need to return uh, and same item so i what i will be doing here is so i need to add one property to this i dot index so we can have a two argument here i and index so we can have i dot id is index plus one and i mean it's a multi-line syntax so we have to wrap it inside brackets okay we are missing the indentation here so let's fix that first so we just updated the added the id and return i so this generate id will actually return with items with id now const I will it will return only those items which I bought right so get bought items and I will just pass all the items which I received with IDs so this is another function we have and function name is clear what the function is doing is it is just doing a filtering on this so we can actually pass the passing the items and here we can do items dot filter and here we need to return only those items where item dot bot which is true right so this is simple logic here we got the bot items and finally const we can actually return this instead of creating another variable we can actually get uh, calculate cost so here we will pass bot items this can be another function this function should return only a single argument calculate cost here we are passing the items so what we are doing is we are saying here we need to create a variable cost is zero and we need to iterate on to the items items dot for each should be fine for each and every item we have a callback so cost equal to we can't have a const because this keeps updating i dot you can say price okay and finally once you are done what you will do is return cost right so calculate cost 
this is what we, what we are returning but now you can say i have written three different functions for it all are independent unit testable this is how we can actually write a clean code just a beginning of it okay now next examples we can talk about is whenever we write a callbacks in programming in javascript and there is a callback inside a callback we generally call that as a callback hell but how these kind of uh, problem arise right so we have like simple callback hell is a situation where another callback or another execution is dependent on the parent one right just i will say callback example because here we are just talking about example i'm not doing anything in this so i will say get example data here i need to wait for some callback right so if i got a data from this callback i will say example one data so that we can identify the difference here i will get the callback data and now there is another callback inside it example one data example two data and then there is another callback inside it so these are actually nested and there is a dependency of this into one another okay callback a data we are printing so this is how we are actually increasing the dependency and how it look like forget about uh, the variable function naming here because we are talking about just an example and this example is doing nothing but it has a callback and what it is doing is let's have a set timeout and after some time it is just returning us this callback with some data and that is let's say one second and set timeout is a function it is correct so we should bind it inside a function only and inside a callback you are actually sending some parameters let's say we 70 something like this so here we have these different functions example one data example two data let's say example three data right now you can see like example one callback will be resolved after one second because it's in set timeout then example two then example three so this is the one way of writing the code where you are actually writing an estate and there's a cascade chain you can see one inside another right so in javascript we may encounter this this is known as a callback hell and this can be pretty much like we can resolve it these are independent promises if these are independent promises because we are not feeding in the data of one into another if we are feeding in data then the things can be different but here these are independent so we can just convert this code into simple promises and get this fixed so what we can do is instead of uh, having callback structure we can return a promise from them which will help us using the es6 feature promise and it takes the uh, resolve and reject this is an error function and we can wait for one second and then resolve this promise but we are not using callback now so we can just say okay resolve some data same data x is something and y was something same you can write for all these functions let's say we have two functions okay now to, now these are independent promises and there is a nice way of uh, doing this like you can actually execute these for parallelly promise dot all we have first promise which we will get by calling this first example data one this is our first promise and second promise is get example two data promise dot all and then we can actually do a dot then on this here it will give us results in an 
array and here we can do the destructuring or something like that so here let data one equal to results i mean there should be some specific name what you are getting but this is how you can capture and get rid of this callback thing we can also improve this with using a sync of it but now this is fine okay so this is uh, just a basic exercise we have done just to avoid this callback hell using promises we actually wrote a simple code now another simple things we have is uh, using object dot assign properly right so what first of all what what is the uses of object dot assign this object dot assign is actually used to create a shell copy of an existing object so consider that we have an existing object so this is what we were writing or we used to write but this is not the right way this is menu config we are looking into config and we are actually returning uh, the new config right so how can we how can we improve it so your menu can config can be anything and you actually want to override this you can actually simply use object.assign for that right so object.assign takes the uh, same argument here this is your current object you have like this these are the default you are setting if the title is not coming set it to full body is not coming set it to bar same thing we are doing if title is foo and bar that is fine you will keep it if we are getting this title foo and bar from the config object we will override it otherwise we will keep it so if we look into the object dot assign syntax what it does is this is first object this is second object right so if some property exists here x a 40 is 70 so if some property is here in the second argument then it will always override it to the first argument so whatever the default you have like a is 40 b is 70 just keep them here if we are getting that in the second argument it will override it at otherwise it will keep same so if we see this output of this it is going to create a new object which will have a a b c both right all these three similarly we are putting this as a default and now you can override it by passing the config object or this this can be simplified just uh, by using so if we have config like we can just say this is the default config we have const default config so here what you can do is you can return something like this we can use a spread operator so this is my default config and this is the config which i'm getting in the argument so it, will, it, it is doing the same thing what we were doing with the object dot assign okay uh thanks everyone thanks this is all for this video